Okay, so I'm going over a Cournot oligopoly problem, and this is a simultaneous moves problem where both firms choose their quantity, and then they reveal the quantity, and the market price is set based on the demand curve. In this case, the demand curve is price equals 100 minus 2 times the total market quantity, and the marginal cost of production is 4 units for both firms. So um, to start this problem, it doesn't matter which firm's problem we set up first, whether it's firm B or firm A. So let's just start with firm A. And we're going to maximize their profit by choosing the quantity of firm A. And their profit of, is, of course, the price, at the market price, times the quantity that they produce. That's their total revenue. Minus their total costs, which are going to be the $4 per unit it costs to create, the marginal cost, times the quantity of firm A. And to pl what, we what we're going to do is plug in the demand function, as usual, into the price here to get rid of price so that this entire thing is in terms of quantity. So let's go ahead and do that. We maximize by choosing the quantity of firm A. Then we choose price, which is equal to the demand curve over here, minus 2QA, minus 2QB, times QA, so price times quantity, minus total costs, which are the marginal costs, times the quantity that we produce. And we have our equation here, and based on that, we can actually um, get it down, uh, solve down the algebra, simplify a little bit, to get 96QA minus 2QAQB minus, QA, uh, minus 2QA squared. So that's just simplifying the algebra. And now we can take our first order conditions by taking the partial derivative of that payoff function with respect to QA. And we get 96 minus 2QB minus 4QA equals 0. And based on that, we're going to get a best response function. Um, which is going to give us what quantity should firm A produce as a function of firm B's quantity. And that's going to give us 24 minus 1 half QB. And this is firm A's best response function to B. This is A's best response to, to B's choice of quantity. So now that we have a best response function, let's remember that. And for simultaneous moves, they don't know what each other are doing, so we can go ahead and solve from B's maximization problem in exactly the same way. And I'm sure you will not be surprised to, to figure out, since it's a symmetric problem, that from B's best response function is going to be exactly the same as from A's, except it's going to be backwards. So B's best response function, I'll just draw it at the bottom here, is QB. The optimal QB is 24 minus 1 half QA. And you get that using the same methodology. Plug the demand function into the um, into price in, in terms of the revenue and the profit function. You solve down, take the first order conditions, and solve the first order conditions. So you have two best response functions, A is best response to B, and B is best response to A. It's two equations and two unknowns, and we're going to plug those equations into one another to solve. So I can take this function for from B and plug in QA. So I know that QB equals 24 minus 1 half QA, and we're going to plug in this whole thing for QA. So minus 1 half, 24 minus 1 half QB. So now the entire thing is in terms of QB, and I can solve that. That's just using algebra. I can solve that. And when I solve it down, I get the quantity for firm B is going to be 16. And then I can just plug that quantity back into firm A's best response function. So QA equals 24 minus 1 half QB, and we know that QB is 16. So QA is actually also going to equal 16. So both firms produce 16 in this industry, and now all we need to know is the price. And the price is going to be, um, we, we just plug both of those quantities into our demand function. So we get price is 100 minus 2 times 16 plus 16 
which will give us price um, price equal to 36 in this industry. So we've solved for the industry price. We've solved for the quantity that each firm will produce. Um, firm A produces 16. That's a little bit long. And we've entirely solved our Corno oligopoly problem.